Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit and another episode of What Are We Eating? The other day I found myself wandering through my own personal adult playground once again, the Dollar Tree. And soon enough, I found myself back in the frozen food section. And like a bright shining star, I spotted a two pack of these extra value quarter pound beef patties. Sounds like a good deal, right? Well, they can't be that good for a dollar, but they also can't be that bad either. Or can they? Well, we're gonna find out, but let's go over the details first. These are two frozen, cook and serve, quarter pound beef patties. These burgers are not pre-cooked and they need to be cooked to 160 degrees or until the juices are no longer red. And now for the list of ingredients. And boy, do we have a doozy here. The ingredients are beef, beef hearts, water, textured vegetable protein, and soy protein concentrate, both of which are hidden names for MSG and always contain process-free glutamic acid. Seasoning, which consists of salt, Maltodextrin, which not always, but often, contain or produce process-free glutamic acid. Sugar, disodium inosinate, disodium guanolate, natural flavors, and extractives of turmeric. I just don't understand the need for all that crap in a hamburger. Especially when it's not even really a bargain. These extra value ground beef patties are obviously $2 a pound. But it's not all ground beef. If it was 100% ground beef, it would be a good deal. But for these two so-called bargain burgers, you're paying for beef and additives. When you can actually pay just a little bit more, and in some cases less, and get 100% beef without all the garbage in it. I pulled up these weekly ads from my local grocery stores. And if you really sit back and think about it, one pound of ground beef is going to make more burgers and feed more people, obviously you have to make smaller burgers, than two packs of these bargain burgers. For example, you can make eight one-eighth pound burgers or make four one-eighth pound burgers and save or freeze the other half pound of ground beef to make a meal another night. And again, you're getting 100% ground beef, no fillers. So if you're struggling on a tight budget, think about and read about the so-called bargain before you buy it. Because like the old saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now for the nutrition facts. Obviously, the serving size is four ounces and there's two servings per container. Per patty, there's 370 calories, 29 grams of total fat, 13 grams of saturated fat, 2 grams of trans fat, 65 milligrams of cholesterol, 650 milligrams of sodium, 6 grams of total carbohydrates, 5 grams of dietary fiber, 1 gram of sugars, and 16 grams of protein. When I slid these burgers out of the package, I got scurred. You would have gotten scurred too if you were getting ready to eat these. But remember, there's no turning back for me because I do this for you, the people, so you don't have to try these. So I took a butter knife and pried them apart. I thought the outside of the burgers were a little bit freezer burnt, but I guess that's the way they're supposed to look because where they were frozen together, they look the same. There's three sets of cooking directions, outdoor grill, in the frying pan, or under the broiler. I'm gonna do it in the frying pan. I'm supposed to place the frozen patty in a preheated fry pan over medium high heat and cook for five minutes then turn and cook for another three minutes or until the internal temperature is 160 degrees. After five minutes, it was time for a flip. That looks like the recommended cooking time is a little bit too long or the temperature is too hot. Or maybe they should have recommended adding a little bit of oil to the pan. After eight minutes, the burger was done. It was at 160 degrees. Now I cooked the first burger according to the directions. I'm gonna cook the second one my way. And I decrease the heat down to medium and I'm gonna flip the burger every two minutes. I don't know if it was decreasing the heat and flipping more often or having grease in the pan or a combination of the three, but this method seemed to work a little better. The recommended cooking time and temperature would have been fine for a regular hamburger, but not one with all these fillers. After flipping every two minutes for a total of eight minutes, the burger's done. Now, I was trying to turn my two $1 quarter pound burgers into a decent double quarter pounder with cheese. The only thing that was missing was the onions, only because I didn't have any. So I toasted my hamburger buns and a little bit of butter, then added yellow mustard and ketchup. Then the processed burger and a piece of processed cheese and the other burger and another piece of processed cheese. And of course, you can't have a double quarter pounder with cheese without pickles. Well, it certainly looks enough like a double quarter pounder with cheese but the proof is in the pudding. So let's cut it in half and see what it looks like all together. Even though it pretty much looks just like the typical double quarter pounder with cheese, it doesn't seem to have the weight to it. It just feels like a light burger compared to one you get from a restaurant. I'm not sure if that makes any sense or not, 
When I took the first bite, I tried to pretend that I was eating a McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese. But no amount of imagination could make this come close to a McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese. Which I wasn't really expecting that, I was just hoping. The texture really isn't horrible, but it's really not meat-like either. You can definitely tell it's not 100% meat. Whether or not you read the ingredient list, it's definitely not nearly as spongy as the Fast Bites burger. As far as flavor goes, it didn't have a whole lot. When I eat a burger, I want a greasy burger with lots of flavor. But with that said, if you don't mind eating a cheeseburger with ground beef, hearts, and other fillers, it's not really a bad deal. Not a very healthy deal or tasty deal, but it's still a deal. Personally, I'd opt to spend my dollar on something else. I'm going to give these a 2 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do not give these a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.